roguelikes, an indie obsession originally inspired by the dungeon crawler Rogue that spawned countless subgenres and hit games like Hades, Crypt of the Necrodancer, and Enter the Gungeon. I've recently fell down the rabbit hole of a specific subgenre called the bro Light, named after Michael Bro and his particular philosophy on turn-based movement and a small grid. Since the software development kit for the Playdate just came out, I thought, why not make a bro like inspired game for the Playdate? First step was to get the character art, so I used Kenny's monochrome RPG asset pack and adapted it to be black and white. Then I implemented some simple grid-based movement. The movement was looking a little stiff, however, so I used the animator component to smoothly ease between different positions. Next was to create some tiles. So again, using Kenny's 1-bit asset pack, I took some of the trees and grass and tested them out by randomly generating them into a tile map. It was looking pretty good, but I wanted some organic looking forest shapes, so using the built-in Perlin noise library, I generated something a little better than just completely random tiles. It's not perfect, so I might have to go back and tweak it later. At this point, the player could just walk through the walls and trees, so I added restrictions which stopped the player, and used the animator component again, but this time only animating half of the full tile distance and snapping back to the original position. Then, I made sure to spawn the player in an empty location, and made it so that the trees would block the player movement as well. However, I ran into an issue. With the map generation algorithm I was using, it would inevitably cause different open sections of the map to be blocked off from each other. Now, you could write an algorithm to fix that, but you know what they say. Why do big code when little code do trick? So I just made the terrain destructible. Next was to add enemies. I put together some enemy sprites and added the first enemy into the game, the skeleton. I just used the very simple pathfinding heuristic. The enemy finds the shortest Manhattan distance to the player without taking any of the obstacles into consideration. They end up moving back and forth a lot, so I might change this later as well. Currently, when you attack, the skeleton can attack right back. This makes it so you're forced to take damage whenever you attack something, which doesn't seem right. I found this great tutorial on making a bro-like, and how this issue is tackled by placing a stun on any enemy you attack, so they can't attack back. However, if you're surrounded, you can still be attacked, or if you walk into the line of sight of an enemy. Currently, there's no way for the enemy to die, so I added a health component. Next, I also added a little indicator in the form of some dots that let you know how much health an enemy has left. Of course, the player should have some health too, so I added some hearts to the top left to show when the player has been damaged. Last thing I did this week was add a temporary main menu screen and a scene transition. I thought this would take me about a week, but the progress went way slower than I anticipated. So I'll need another week or so to finish this small project. Join me next week when I add more enemy types, different playable classes, and more. Subscribe so you don't miss it, and see you next time.